Hey guys, Gary Dean. I am, uh, if you don't know me, I am the owner of DetailJuice.com and uh, that is a auto, boat, RV, and motorcycle detailing product company. I wanted to shoot this video for a while. I shouldn't say a while, just uh, a little bit. I've had my 2016 Ford F-150 XLT Sport for a little over two months now. And I wanted to share my thoughts on it. When I was researching this particular truck, I, I found a lot of good information, but the information I'm gonna share with you, I really couldn't find. So I am on my way back now from a little road trip that I took from Tampa, Florida, where I live, up to Virginia Beach, Virginia, and now I'm on my way back from Virginia. So, I'm uh, about halfway back now, and I've got some thoughts on the truck in general and fuel economy and that kind of thing. So this is, like I said, a 2016 um, Ford F-150 XLT Sport. It's a crew cab with the short bed. <clears throat> it is, I've got 4,291 miles on it right now. And I put about 1,500 miles so far on this trip. And I can tell you that per my calculations, this truck is getting about 20 miles per gallon on the highway. That is about a mile and a half per gallon less than the computer says. Uh, and I'm trying to get all the facts straight before I spew them out. And so if, for example, if the computer says I'm getting 21.5 miles per gallon, I'm actually only getting 20 miles per gallon, which is actually what's going down. Um, the way you figure out your miles per gallon is simple math. You basically fill your tank up with gas, run it till it's about empty, and then fill it up with gas, take the number of miles that your trip was, and divide it by however many gallons you put in the tank, and that will give you your average miles per gallon uh, for that tank. So that's kind of where we're at. And so I'm getting about 20 miles per gallon, which I wouldn't say is horrible. I can tell you that the, the one problem I have with this truck, and I don't know that it's really even a problem to most, uh, it's, it's more annoying uh, than anything, it's the auto start stop. Now, you can get in the vehicle and start it, start it up and then you can disable it per that driving session but when you get out of the vehicle again uh, and turn the vehicle off when you get back in you have to turn it off again um, I got a buddy who has a brand new BMW and he also has auto, auto start stop but he can manually just override it and cut it off and I wish that I had that option now I have the 2.7 liter EcoBoost now one of the main reasons I bought this engine is because it it started life as a turbo engine, whereas the 3.5 liter was modified to be a turbo engine. And my experience with these trucks, I've had a, I had a 2013 F-150. It was an STX with the 3.5 liter V6. I got about 15 miles a gallon in the city with that. Um, I then had I got a, an Escape, then I got a 14 F-150. The Both of the 13 and the 14 were super cabs. Uh, this one is a crew cab. Um, and the 14, I bought the STX Sport, which had the five liter V8 option. It also had the center console and the bigger wheels, uh, which is, I guess, the Sport package. And I got 15 miles a gallon with that thing around town. 
I didn't take those on lots of trips. Uh, I plan on driving this one more on the highway. I can tell you that around town in this 2016 with the 2.7 EcoBoost, I'm getting around 16 miles per gallon, which I don't feel like it's amazing. Um, but I can tell you this, I did not buy a full-size pickup truck to worry about the fuel economy. And I think that, you know, the auto start stop issue, that's cool to have that. And I love that it saves fuel and, and who wouldn't want to save fuel if they could. The problem is it's an incredible inconvenience uh, when you stop, especially in, in Florida or anywhere in the summertime. Like I said, it was just in uh, Virginia Beach and even there, you know, it's hot and humid right now. So if you, if you stop at a stoplight with the auto start stop on, the engine's gonna kick off and your air conditioner is gonna stop working. Uh, I mean, it literally drops, it keeps the power on inside, but the AC doesn't blow cold. There's no compressor running or anything when the, when the engine stops. So the other, I guess I wouldn't say upside to that, but there are sensors in here or whatever that know uh, your, you know, I guess the cabin comfort level or whatever. So if it feels like the uh, temperature is dropping too rapidly, uh, it will kick the motor back on while you're still stopped. It's just, it's still uncomfortable to lose the AC when you're stopped at a light or a stop sign or any of that. I don't like it. So the only thing that you can do is, um, and what I'll probably do if I keep this thing past the warranty period is I'll call five star tuning which i believe they're in south carolina um they are a company that makes awesome tunes for this these trucks and i believe mustangs they've been around for a long time they're all over the f-150 forums uh but i've talked to mike the owner several times i've never purchased a tuner from them i generally don't keep the truck long enough uh, to care and you know you can get a bunch more power out of this thing while still being uh you know, be able to tow and perform at the same time. Uh, I find that it runs better with 93 octane. It's high compression and turboed. So everyone told me to run uh, 93. You can run 87. Uh, I have run it through a couple of tanks. I wouldn't say it's a world of difference. Uh, it just seems a little bit peppier and just runs a little better. Uh, a little bit better. So I just keep putting 93 in it. Again, I didn't buy this truck to worry about fuel economy or fuel prices. I bought it because I need to tow shit and I need to, I need lots of capacity for hauling stuff. And you know, I do, I do guy stuff. Uh, I go camping a lot. I pull my small camper. Uh, the max towing capacity on this model, I believe is 7,200 pounds. And I'll never, ever, ever need to tow more than that uh, in fact my boat weighs right at 2,000 pounds it's an eight, 18 foot sea ray um, and my camper weighs uh, about 2,500 pounds and you know even if I upgraded either one of those I'd still be more than fine for anything I'd ever want so towing capacity right on uh, I would say the fuel economy 16 in town, um, an average of 20 miles per gallon on the highway. Uh, that's realistically what you can get. I don't care what the factory says. I don't care what the EPA estimates. Um, uh, the Gary Dean estimates exactly what his uh, simple math per my calculator says. So 16 and 20 is what you can expect. Uh, as far as power, let me tell you this. This thing has plenty of power. Um, it You barely could tell I'm towing my camper or my boat. Uh, it's plenty of power. I mean, you literally, I mean, I've got, I believe, 331 uh, gear ratio in the rear. Uh, I've got the option to uh, lock the rear diff. Uh, so I've got posi. You could literally, even with the turbo, na uh, turbo lag, you, you could take a nap till it kicks in or whatever, but as soon as it does, you could burn the tires off this truck. Um, I am more than happy with every single thing 
in this vehicle. I mean, it's, I've got the 302A option, I believe, with the navigation and all that cool stuff. Um, I've added a few things like tailgate assist, which some of you guys are like, oh, who needs that? I've never heard of that. That's a big crock of shit. What a sissy boy, baby. Let me tell you something. You got stuff in your hand. You got a case of water in your hand or whatever. You go to lift that tailgate down and you don't have to worry about it slamming down or having to guide it. And that tailgate assist will just allow it to just glide down. That's money, baby. That's money. Uh, so I added that. I got the DZ part. It was 30 bucks from Auto Anything. Uh, dot com. I usually buy my accessories from that. Um, the other cool thing I could have got from the factory, which I would have, uh, I ordered the truck. Uh, well, I, I didn't order it from the factory. I actually purchased it when it was on order from the dealership. It was actually on a train. I had to wait for it to get there. But I would have got the factory tailgate assist. I would also have gotten the bed liner. Uh, it would have been easier and the same pro actually would have been cheaper for me to get the factory installed bed liner. I believe that's a $500 option or $495, something like that. Then it would have been for me to have to take my truck down to Line X, let them have it for a day, worry about all that drama, go pick it up, worry about the overspray from the Line X guy because I'm pretty particular. Uh, like I said, I own detailjuice.com. I, uh, I also own a, a detailing service in Tampa, Florida. And I'm, I'm quite OCD, I'm very particular. So, you know, I had to get some overspray from the Linex out of the, um, the tailgate jam. And so as far as that goes, it would have been easier to just get it from the factory. Uh, and like I said, I paid $4.99 plus tax, so $5.30. I could have got it for maybe $30, $40 less going through the dealer if I had ordered the truck. Um, the rebates made this truck worthwhile to buy. Um, unfortunately, I was in an accident, accident on May 3rd of this year. I totaled out a 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, I really like that truck. I, I, amazingly, the quality wasn't up to par. I had a, a crazy uh, whistle in the, the, the window and uh, the steering wheel was a little cockeyed from the, from the dealer. And uh, those sealed transmissions they used, uh, mine was two and a half quarts low, so the transmission was slipping right out, right off the dealership lot. So, you know, just little stupid things. Um, and I'm, you know, again, take my advice for whatever you feel it's worth. I have owned three brand new uh, Ford F-150s, uh, like I said, 13, 14, and then now the, the 16. I absolutely, without question, adore this truck. It's amazing. I'm a Ford guy through and through. Uh, you couldn't you couldn't give me a Chevy that I wouldn't sell to buy a Ford. Um, and that's not to say. I got a problem with Chevy either. I don't. I just prefer prefer Ford. I mean, I, I own an ADL Camino. I actually prefer the older Chevys uh, to the older Fords. I'm not a Mustang guy at all. I uh, would prefer a Chevy uh, old school um, classic or toy, if you will. I got an ADL Camino and that's, that's my baby. But anyway, long story short, I, I'm not biased necessarily. Uh, I just prefer a Ford so you know that's where I'm at so take take the uh, the review for what it's worth uh, the navigation very functional it works well sync 3 uh, I've got a power inverter in here in the front and in the back that works awesome uh, it's just very functional it's just got lots of room in the back you can see my little daughter back there she's uh, cruising with me say hi Lily hi. so we're doing our thing traveling a little bit today um this particular model also has the full panoramic moonroof. uh it, it's awesome i love it i love the truck uh it's anything and everything you could want um the only other option uh besides the tailgate assist that i already have the bed liner which i already did um i always do husky liners on the floor uh they they just keep your carpets looking awesome and they're easy to clean I also always do a bed cover uh, just so that I, you know, with, with having a detailing business or whatever, I keep tools and equipment back there sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. <clears throat> and, you know, it's good to keep it all out of the rain and, you know, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. 
Um, so push button start would have been awesome. Uh, again, one of those random, maybe I'm being a little, little, little whiner about things, but you know, it is what it is. I can, you know, I can get what I want and that's where I'm at. I just kind of like, I like the simple things, that's for sure. Push button start, leaving the key fob in your pocket. That would be cool. Um, I can also tell you one of the smartest things I did as soon as I bought the truck, and you can see that in another video, is I did my new vehicle prep to it. Now, obviously, I only use my products from detailjuice.com because we manufacture them per my specs as a pro detailer. But a solid coat of juice boost was applied initially and it's still going strong before i took this trip i put a uh, a coat of vitality shield on it which is my super heavy duty sealant uh it can last up to a year depending on how you maintain it and uh, whether you maintain it with the perfect soap from my line or the infinite use detail juice anyway if you want to learn about my products or my processes uh you can either go to my website, detailjuice.com, and look around. Uh, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. And uh, you could also check out my group on Facebook if you're into detailing. It is Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group where we talk about only my products and my processes. I do things a completely unique way from the rest of the planet. Uh, I do more with less, and that means fewer products as well as fewer pieces of equipment to get the job done as good or better, I like to think better than pretty much everybody else. Bottom line. Uh, now, you know, everybody's got their opinion and I'm giving you my wholehearted, solid quality, all I got, all my effort kind of review on this 2016 Ford F-150 XLT Sport crew cab, with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. In just recap, 16 miles per gallon in the city is realistic. 20 miles per gallon on the highway is realistic. And you got power for days and I, you could tow anything you want pretty much with this. If I needed to tow more than I would with this, I'd step it up to a Super Duty uh, F250 or something like that. Uh, I, I probably would not um, I mean, I'm never going to want to tow more than this. And you're saving yourself, I think, uh, $1,200 by going with the 2.7 liter option versus the 3.5 liter option. So, you know, money savings is cool, but I bought the truck more for function. And again, the rebates that I got were awesome. And, you know, coming from that 16 Tacoma, when I bought the Tacoma, the rebates weren't available. And when Ford started releasing all these awesome rebates, I was able to get the truck I wanted built the way I wanted it pretty much. And I didn't have to pay that premium price tag, which Ford likes to tack on there. So I would generally wait halfway through the model year or just before the, uh, the next model year comes out and uh, you have a better better opportunity to bargain uh, and you get all those rebates from Ford, so that's pretty cool. I just wanna add that I am a normal driver. I would say that on the interstate, I, you know, if the speed limit is 70 like it is in Florida, I will set the cruise at 79 and I will just let her ride. So, um, I think that, you know, I could definitely tone it down and go slower or whatever and maybe gain a couple of uh, fractions of a gallon, but no, I'm not doing any of that. Uh, and around town, I definitely am no speed demon. Um, I, I don't, I don't do burnouts all the time, I, well, ever. Uh, I don't hit the gas unless I really need to uh, get out of the situation I'm in or, you know, go around somebody. So I don't drive crazy. So the, the fuel estimates that I gave are based on just what I would consider normal driving, nothing crazy. And, you know, again, 
I, I just, I don't hot rod it. There's no real need to. And that's without towing anything, 16 in the city and 20 on the highway. Uh, I shot the majority of this video earlier today. Now I have 4,600 miles on the truck. And I just, it just, it occurred to me that I didn't mention the type of driving that I do. And I would consider it normal, not hot rodding, not trying to conserve every ounce of gas either. Uh, but, you know, I just drive normal. I don't, don't hit it all the time. And I generally go just a little bit over the speed limit not a ton again it's not complicated none of this is rocket science but I wanted you to know where I was at with the type of driving I I do I mean uh, the speed limits um, 70 and I'm doing 76 so that's where we're at I hope this uh, helps somebody and I appreciate you guys watching anyway that's my review of my 2016 Ford F-150 XLT Sport. Uh, if you got questions for me, just uh, send me a text, 813-846-4406. And uh, thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.